Hey folks, welcome to Fish Lake Country. My name is Dennis. Appreciate each and every one of you watching. Hey, today it's going to be a little different. I'm having trouble finding crappie because they're moving a lot. We're in that time of year, we're getting into uh, cold water. I'm going to go to a different area. I haven't fished a lot this uh, this year. I haven't fished it for a long time. I'm going to fish some of these big boat houses. Check them out. It's like five of them. I'm going to check those out. Check out a big bridge. Okay? All right? And uh, then I'll work my way back to, down the lake. This is just going to be a fun video. This is not a four to catch. This is going to be a fun video. See if I can find some fish. I'm going to take you along with me. Come on. Let's go see if we can find some fish. Take my drag up a touch. A white perch. All right, guys, I'm seeing schools of shad. I've been fishing this morning trying to find some crappie. I found one school of crappie, and they would not, they followed me a little bit, and that was it. So I may have run around open water because I'm seeing a lot of fish in open water. I started way back there. And I know some of them are white perch, but I think some of them are crappy. I think this bunch right here is crappy. And uh, I caught some last weekend in open water. The crappy are scattered right now. Uh, the water temperature's been dropping. We've had some cold weather this week down in the 20s, and the, the uh, water temperature's changing. And uh, the crappy are scattered. And I talked to another fellow, and he said they've caught some in open water too. But I caught some nice ones last weekend. Y'all gonna see another video. Uh, one over 15 inches in open water. And I'm seeing fish constantly. I've started way back at those poles back there. And I've seen, there's no fish on those poles. I just checked them. But I've seen fish constantly. Uh, now this is bass right here. I can tell you some of them. I can tell you what they are by the behavior of them. Okay, whether they're swimming, they're moving. I mean, they're moving. Bam, they're going. That's how fast they're moving. Look this way. Look that way. They're going. They're bass. There's shad everywhere. I constantly got shad on my bait fish. Shad. That's what I'm saying, guys. On my death finder. Okay. So uh, I know. I know why they're here roaming. They're here chasing shad. That's what they're doing. But they're moving so much, even the crappy, that my problem I have, I went to an eighth ounce weight. Never used eighth ounce weight in my life. Uh, I carry some with me because I use them for bass fishing, okay? I'll put a three inch grub on them and bass fish with them. Y'all do that. So I carry, carried some. But I put them in here this morning. On my boat this morning, I put four or five that ones on here. Because they don't, usually don't have but one or two. Because this open water fishing, by the time my jig is getting down to them, they're gone because they're, they're constantly moving. So I've got to get I had to have something that's going to sink faster, and I'm trying to guess which direction they're going. Yeah, that's hard too, and cast ahead of them, guys. And I'm not having any luck this morning. Now, if I can catch them sitting still, I'll, I can throw my 1 16th or 1 32nd at them. So there's two at 15 foot from the boat, and they're gone now. But I mean, I'm I'm constantly seeing fish. And yesterday evening. I got a video come up, y'all gonna see. I got into bass like that and I caught, I think 11 bass in just a little while on crappy baits. Four pound test. Oh yeah, that was fun. Four pound test. And I, in that video, I said one broke my line, but he didn't break my line. I retied it this morning. I just switched the rods, what I do guys. I didn't stop me tie another bait on. I just got, I got four or five rods laying here. I just grabbed another, I just grabbed another rod, you know? And kept going, well, uh, when I got home to retie it this morning before I came out, the loop knot was still on there. So that means that that jig and that eye that you tie onto had to have a little opening in it somewhere when my, bait, when my line come through it. And that's happened to me before. There's three huge fish just went underneath the boat. See, some of those are stripers. I caught two stripers too uh, yesterday. So, yeah, on the crappy baits. Yeah, I had a fun day, guys. I caught a big catfish too. I mean a big one. But anyway, I'm going to go up there and check something else. I've just been toying with these for about 20 minutes. And uh, there's so many fish here, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Now, these are white perch right here. Let me get down where I can show y'all something. Now, I'm going to move this camera a little bit so I can see what y'all seeing. Those are white perch right there. Okay. I can tell you what those are. See those on the bottom? Those are white perch. See here? Now, I'm spinning around. Here's shad. See the school shad right there? See that ball shad right there? There's a ball shad. All right, you can see the fish right here. There's a white perch. 
I'm spinning my handle. There's a little school or something. I don't think what they are. I'm trying to find some bigger fish for y'all. Alright, there's a... That's that's a decent fish right there. See how bright he is? You can see his tail moving. I don't know if y'all can see that in the camera or not. If you're watching, you can see his body twisting. And he's 30... He's 20... Uh, he's 20 feet away, guys. If I bring it closer... Let's bring it closer. Oops, I'm sorry. Let's bring it closer. Bring it closer. Brought the gain up a little bit now. Those are, right there you go. Those are bass. If you watch, they're after those shad. Let me bring the game back up a little bit, guys. I'm trying to get a clearer picture. It's nice. you got to adjust this thing a lot sometimes. It's, see? Look at all the fish right here. Those are probably white perch. I'm still spinning. There's a school of shad. You can see there's fish around the shad, though. I'm spinning... And these are all different fish I'm showing you. I'm spinning my handle. See this handle right here? I'm spinning it like this, looking around. When I say I'm over here looking around, I'm doing this. So I'm looking all around the boat. That's like, see? See, there's, see what I'm saying? There's, there's a school of shad. I'm in 17 feet just drifting. That's all I'm doing. But a lot of those are white perch. Now, that, that, this is a bass or something right here. See right here? It's a bigger fish. Hold on. Make something find him. Oops. I can't get him in the scope. There he is. It's cool of shad going on there. There's a bigger fish. See, the two's going to meet up. And that's what I've been doing. I've been throwing at those bigger fish. Now, I think those are bass right there are stripers. If I get them closer, I can tell you what they are. But uh, that's that's the hardest thing. When you when you get them close enough, so I bring this thing on. I'm bringing it on in here. Let's bring it on in here to, uh, to 35 feet. You'll get a better picture. But I've been casting at them. And like I said, I can constantly see fish. But anyway, I had it at, I had it at 50, 60 feet. The further you get it out, guys, you don't get a clear picture. When they get 30 feet in, you can get you can you can see their fins moving, you can see their body twisting. When they get up beneath the boat, you can see it all. And uh, the shorter you make that thing, if you make it to 20, 25, 30 feet, you can see everything. I mean, you can see a lot more. When I have that at 60 feet, that's all you're going to get some marks. You're not going to tell a very good exactly what everything is. But I can tell by the way they're acting, the body behavior, how they're swimming on the bottom. Crappy look more like a football on a tee ready to be kicked off. That's what a foot crappy looks like. Kind of like this white perch do. But the crappy uh, will hold the bottom some, okay? But most of the time, they're, uh, they're a few feet off the bottom. If it's 16 foot here, most of the time they're at 10, 12 foot. Most of the time, they will get on the bottom, but especially during the cold front and things like that. And there's times since water's dirty, that they just hold the bottom. But in general, the crappy don't hold the bottom as much. All right, guys, I've been fighting this fish for a little bit. I'm sorry, I couldn't get the camera on because uh, I don't know what it is. I couldn't get the camera on. I hope it's crappy. It is. Nice crappy. A huge crappy. A pig. Bam. Now guys, this is the first oh, look. Bait come off in the net. That's why. I, that's why I net them, guys. Cause I'm by myself. That's just eat. Oh, what a crap! It's just easier to net them. I'm getting up with the trolling motor. Cause my spot lock. I got my trolling motor working left and right, but uh, spot lock's not working. First time I used spot lock the other day. I forgot it fixed. Put my new switch in. It locked up. Woohoo! What do you think of that one? Wow, what a crappy! Great time of day. That is a pig. He's going to be 15 inches, guys. Now, I'm, I'll show you all in a minute what I'm seeing. Um, Roy gave me this hood here to use. I'm going to try to use it today. i done some live scope shots on the last video. And I, when I edited it the other night, they were so blurry, I couldn't see anything so much. I get this shine off of it, and this, this 9SV is bad about that. And somebody, somebody's going to say use Aptic Captain. I tried that. Put it on my phone, then I found after doing research it won't work on a 9SV. You got it, it only works on the 10s or 12s. Oh my gosh, told y'all guys. Look here. 15 and 3, 7 eighths or 3 quarter guys, whatever y'all want to call it. He is almost 16 inches. Woohoohoo! Alright. I'm going to take a picture of my phone with fast guys. Alright guys, I threw, <laughs> I threw that big fish back just now, wasn't even thinking about it. Took a picture. Dropped him back on the side of the boat because 
I had him out of the water so long. I don't like to keep them out of the water no longer than you have to, because the longer you keep them out, guys, less chance they have of making if you're going to release them, right? So <laughs> I took a picture of him sitting in my driver's seat, dropped him in the water, and went, darn, I didn't show, I didn't show that fish being released. But that's okay. Don't y'all get mad at me. I'm going to take it back over here. I like to show it be released. I don't keep them. If I was going to keep some, I thought about just now. I like to have two about that size. One for me, one for my wife. That's all we need uh, for supper. But we're going to go out to, we done decided we're going to the Mexican restaurant tonight. We haven't been for a while. Here in Virginia, they're on another lockdown now. So, all right. I'm getting set back up here. This dock has braces on it too. Y'all can see them back there probably. You can see them right there. You gotta watch. But I'm gonna show you the crap you get on the braces. And I'm gonna show you right here. Like see right here? See these dark spots right there? That's what he was. He was one of those yellow spots. Can y'all I don't know if y'all can see it right there. I'll stop the screen if you want me to. Right there. Y'all can see it's a bright yellow spot. I'm gonna put it back now. Those two, that's a crappy, that's a crappy. Oh, baby. You gotta watch this touch screen. I love it, but you gotta watch you touch, <laughs> you change things. All right, I'm looking around. I'm moving the scope. All right, it's the only two I see in that area. Well, that's what I'm doing, guys. I'm running this dock, looking for those bright yellow spots, and then I'm casting at them. And he came out of that stall right there. He was on back there, and when he hit me, the reason I couldn't get my camera on, I just kept rolling, because I knew it was a nice fish, and I was hoping it was a crappy. And I just kept feeling he tried to take me around these posts. And I got four pound lines. So once you get him hooked, you got to keep him coming. He almost got around this corner post right here that they got patched up there. And uh, I got him away from that. Then I cut the camera on. So, boy, I done a good job. I didn't get all the fish bite and I didn't get uh, the release. All right, we'll see, we'll see if we can catch another big one and we'll get the release on that. Guys, if I don't catch but two or three more fish all day, I'm happy. But I was, tell, I was saying this in another clip down there when I, I was showing y'all that y'all gonna see where this, the open water is full of fish out here. I was, that was down in this pocket. I'm on the main lake now. This pocket here is full of fish. They're everywhere. There's crappy down there. But they won't be still. They're, they're chasing shad and I can't get them to bite me. Uh, I can't get my jig to them. Time I get my jig to them, they're gone. So, you know, it's that type of thing. So I said, heck with it. I'm gonna go try to find crappy somewhere else. So that's what I'm doing. All right, and I've been here before. I've caught fish here before. This ain't the first time I've fished this spot. The worst thing I've got going on today is I'm gonna cast right down, close as I can, to the poles. I gotta watch, I can't hardly cast under them. I can of here and there. Like I said, they got braces on them. Uh, the toughest thing I got going today is this little bit of breeze, which is good for fishing, but the breeze is coming right toward this boathouse. Y'all can see my boat's trying to go sort of toward the boathouse now. Oh, I just hit one of the braces. And there's some braces going this way too, some places you got to watch under the water. They're going to cross the openings of the boathouse because he's 24 foot here. So in these bo boathouses in these deeper waters, they do that. And they don't show up good on the death finder either, guys. I can see this. I, this is weird. I showed this another video. I can see the post good, all right? Some of the braces I can see a little bit, but some of the braces that go across from this boathouse that's under the water, for some reason, do not show up good on my death finder. If any of y'all know why, see here you can see some of them. Let me show you why I'm running my mouth here. See that brace right there? So you can see that brace, can't you? All right. You see the X braces there, can't you? You see, that's back in, you're seeing the S braces. That's on this thing going this way. But there's some across these openings too. Nah, this ain't fighting like a, well. <laughs> I thought this ain't fighting like a crappy. You got four pound test, you just hold on. That's a lar little large mouth. A lot of bass are hanging around this dock too. A lot of them, I see them, I see stripers just now come through the depth finder. Uh, I caught some of them the other day. And he's a spot. He don't have a very good uh, line on him. You know, some of the spots I caught yesterday still had that really black, distinct line. He doesn't have it because his water's been so messed up probably why so it's been stained for weeks in it and guys I'm way down the lake from where I usually fish I haven't been down in this area this far down for a long time 
I didn't want y'all to mess this one. That's a monster right there. I got my nose stuck back in this dock, guys. I'm gonna have to back out here in a minute. I don't get too far back in here, but these uh, the currents carry me in here. I didn't. I wasn't trying to get in here. The wind's blowing off the way. For some reason, the current wants to carry me in here. But there's a few little crappy around these docks. The dock, I left the dock where I caught the big one. I had the wind got so bad right there that I had to leave. And uh, I've been checking all these docks. There's a lot of big docks here. And there's scattered fish, more bass than crappie. But finding some big crappie is very tough. I was hoping, I seen these couple here. I, look, there's a couple decent ones there, but that baby bit me. I thought this was gonna be a crappy, but I don't know. This cross, in front of this dock has a cross member on it. And there was four fish on the cross member. I threw at them. Through, that's probably the fifth time and one time they followed me out a long ways and they looked like crappy where they was following it but nope but the way it's fighting it's not a crappy <laughs> I was gonna say but the way this fish is fighting I tell you guys I'm, I'm having a hard time today finding a bunch of crappy I found some on a dock back where I caught a baby I don't know if I'm gonna show him to y'all not it's probably the lowest one I've caught this year seriously he was a baby. And uh, there was a school crappy there, but. All right, guys. That's a nice bass, though. And it's just a fun day of fishing. I'm not doing a port of catch or nothing like that. Just a fun day of fishing. So, you know, I don't mind catching the bass. I'm out just fishing like this for fun. Just trying to have a good time. Another stinking bass. I'm back here fishing open water, guys. I'm trying to fish open water. I can't catch crappy today from the bass. The crappy are running open water, the bigger ones are. And the, uh, the small ones, I'm finding some small ones on docks, but uh, they're, they're very small and they won't tend with me. The ones I have caught have been babies. I mean babies too. <laughs> These bass are everywhere right now. They're schooled up, they're just running around trying to eat up everything. They're trying to eat up the shad, shad or run on these creeks. So, that's why the bass are biting me. So bad. And I'm seeing fish running. That's what I'm casting at. I'm trying to cast at what looks like I think is crappy. But, uh, the bass are roaming everywhere. And if they see your bait, they just grab it. They're feeding up for winter. You've heard of the fall feed? Well, we always think that the fall feed, you know, is in September, October, maybe it's up north where y'all are, but down here, I was just telling somebody last night, they said they missed the fall feed. I said, no, the fall feed's just starting. When the water gets down below 55 is when it starts. It's 53 degrees today, because it's been warm the last two days. It's, the water's been seesawing, guys, between 49 and 53 now for about two weeks. Wow. Well, this ain't a crappy either. I thought this was a crappy. I thought this is a bit crappy. And I brought my bait past him and bam. I'm gonna guess it's a stinking catfish. Not to make any of y'all mad. I don't like I got slime on my carpet backer from the one I caught yesterday. Well, there he is. Yeah, he's bigger than a crappy. What do y'all think? Well, guys, I got six pound test on a light action rod. I caught the other little down. What do you think? He's probably, he's, he's six pounds. He's probably eight, eight, ten pounds, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna say around that big. Looks like he's about, looks like he's about 25 inches long. I'm gonna try to get him off with a pair of pliers. Do not want him in my boat. Do not want the slime in my boat. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that first crappy was a nice one. I, I found a crappy in a cove there, but they were schooling, chasing shad. I could see them on the depth finder. Couldn't keep up with them. They were just, of course, the shad are running, swimming, running, swimming fast, so they get away from them, and I'm trying to throw at them. Fooled around there a long time, finally I said, that's it. And then when I stopped at this big boathouse, I spoke five boathouses, six boathouses there. I started on the first one. 
There was crappy on the braces, as I showed you. And I could see a few crappy. There wasn't many. Caught one or two, then the wind got up on me and started pushing me into the, the boathouse, and I don't have a spot lock right now. So I went to the backside of the boathouse, and they just, they just wasn't on the backside. Uh, there was some, a lot of bass there, too. I caught a couple of bass uh, there. They was hanging around the corners. So then I went and checked out the other boathouses, and there was none on those. And the ones I did find, schools I did find a crappy, were, were a little six to seven inches, and they were up real tight to the middle of those boathouses. Okay? And I covered a lot of ground, caught some fish. So I'm sharing with you a day when I'm just looking, trying to find fish, trying to find some schools. Okay? We're in this transition period right now where crappy are moving toward Roman and moving toward the winter, and they're feeding on schools of shad out in open water, and they're hard to run down. But I just will share a fun day with you. Hope you enjoyed it. Hey, remember that Sundays are the port of catch. And guys, if you leave a number, come back on Thursday night or Wednesday, I mean Wednesday night or Thursday morning. Very top paragraph, very top comment. I will put who won and what number they have. I do it every week. Uh, there's uh, at least one person. It's been like two or three weeks now. I've commented to them two or three times. Hey, you won on certain board catch. And they never come back. They even asked me one time about three weeks ago, four weeks ago, hey, how do I win? How do I know if I won? And I said, I'm going to comment back to you and it's going to be in the first paragraph. So, look, I want you to get your baits, but you need to come back and uh, check because that's all the way I have to contact you guys. Guys, let's do that comment. My name is Dennis. Appreciate each and every one of you. See you next time on Fishing Lake Country.